Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to learn how to safely use a vacuum former. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is what kinds of shapes that you can form around. Um, what a vacuum former is going to do is make a mold of something. Uh, we use a lot of different kinds of plastics, like this one right here. They come in a variety of colors. We like to use the clear one. We can use different shapes for our molding process. So a lot of times we cast them in resin or what we will do is cut them in acrylic on our laser cutter, layer them up, and then we can vacuum form these pieces as well. For the purposes of our staff, all of our materials, all of our molds are kept in these fishing tackle boxes. We've got a variety of these boxes and bins that we keep all of our molds in if our if they are ever needed for classes, camps, or for our weekend projects. They're all in our tackle boxes located in the back half of our lab. With our vacuum former here, the first and foremost thing to note is that the top of it says, hot, use handle. That means that this vacuum former will get pretty warm and we want to make sure we are only touching the black handles on things when it is on. Our main black handles are this very top one here. This one moves our heating element out of the way and back to where we need it. Our next one is going to be these handles on the side here. This moves the machine up and down. I like to call this the mouth, so it moves the mouth up and down. We also have this one right up here in the front. And that, what that one does, it's kind of like a nose, but it opens the mouth. But that ensures that we're never touching any of the metal pieces on here and all of that metal will conduct the heat once the heater is on. So we just again want to make sure that we're touching the black handle on all of these. Um, if there is ever a vacuum former that is missing one of these pieces, let's say that you find your vacuum former doesn't have one of the handles on the front like this one right here. We have a storage for all of these handle pieces. We keep them in a bag labeled vacuum former parts and they are located in our production studio lab. So what we are going to do now is use our vacuum former. First and foremost thing we need to do is pick out our shape that we will be forming around. And right now we're gonna shape this little tiny dinosaur egg for little baby tiny dinosaurs. Move our heating element out of the way, put our egg right in the middle of our grate down here on the bottom. If our egg is kind of off to the side, what we'll notice when we close down our machine is we can't close it down all the way. So we wanna make sure that it's in the middle of the grate on the bottom. That's where that vacuum air is gonna suck through. Our next step, we're gonna take our sheet of plastic or polystyrene here and we're gonna pop it in the top. Close that mouth up, looks nice and snug and we'll move our heating element over to the front. Once all of those things are nice and lined up, we can turn on our heat switch down at the bottom and that's gonna to start to heat up the machine. So there are heat coils located in the top here and those are gonna to start to heat up. They might get a little bit red. You might notice if you look down from underneath. So it'll take about a minute or so for the machine to heat up and for that plastic to get ready for us. Those polymers are gonna to start to have a party in there. They're gonna to start to wiggle around. This is a cool moment to have kids watch what the plastic is doing. It'll start to wiggle. It'll start to form some lines in there. But what we are ultimately looking for is for something that kind of looks like a contact lens. So that plastic will begin to kind of melt and fall down just a little bit. And when we see that, we'll know that it's ready to pull. All right, so what we're noticing about our plastic right now is that it's the perfect amount of falling. So what we wanna do now is turn our heat switch off and the heat you'll remember has the one on the light on it. We're gonna move our heating element out of the way, grab both handles, pull down and turn on our vacuum former. So we only need that vacuum on for just a couple of seconds. It's gonna suck all of the air out from around our shape. And then once it's quieted, that's when I know that it's a good time to pull it up. Less suction that way. I like to open the mouth and slide out my material. I can then easily pop out my shape that I'm folding. And then I've got a nice little egg here as well. So a couple reminders, make sure that you are turning everything off in between uses. Again, that means the heat. Um, and don't touch any of the metal parts on anything. Thanks, enjoy. Wah, wah.
So let's recap everything. Put your shape on the grate, put your plastic in the top, move your heating element over the top of the plastic and turn that heat switch on. Your plastic will start to melt and wiggle around a little bit. Once it is ready, turn your heat switch off, move the heating element out of the way, grab both handles, pull down, and turn your vacuum on for about two seconds.